Ahoy there, me hearties. Tis I, Captain Peter. I hear you're in possession of a map that's rumored to lead to some of the finest treasure known to mankind. The most splendiferous video games from the year 2019. I'm not doing the voice anymore. The voyage is long and the sea's rough. So hop aboard the good ship Great Games right this second, or I'll have you scrubbing the decks, you scallywags. Oh, the voice came back. That was weird. Can you tell we're running out of ideas for how to introduce these lists? now. Anyway, we're back yet again to share with you 10 more brilliant games from a particular 12-month period. And this year, we're looking at the year 2019. Before we set sail, though, I must remind you all of the following rules. A game can qualify for one of these lists if it was released in the year in question and received a minimum of seven professional reviews. We take average review scores from both Metacritic and game rankings, and where they differ, we'll go with whichever's the highest. Finally, we don't count re-releases, ports, or collections, as you'll find those in the list pertaining to their original release year. Got that all, you salty sea dogs? Then anchors away! It's really quite obnoxious, isn't it? I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 best games of 2019. Number 10. Apex Legends, PS4, 89%. By 2019, Battle Royale games were absolutely everywhere, and it seemed like not a week went by without yet another one making its way to PCs and consoles. Alright, that's probably an exaggeration, they weren't weekly, but there were a lot of them, alright? One of the better Battle Royale titles out there is the Respawn Entertainment developed and EA published Apex Legends which sees players grouping up, either with friends or strangers, to form two or three player squads, choosing a legend, that's one of the game's many characters, and then getting plonked down into an arena to fight other squads to the death. Whichever party is the last one standing is the winner, as is the norm for the genre. Upon its release in February 2019, Apex Legends received critical acclaim for everything from its combat and gunplay to its accessibility and lack of reliance on voice chat. The game went on to earn over $1 billion in revenue by February 2021, and netted itself a whole bunch of awards, including a Golden Joystick, a TGA, and a 2020 Steam Awards accolade for being the best game you suck at, which is pretty harsh, but in our writer's case at least, wholly accurate. Number 9. Slay the Spire, PC, 89%. If you like digital cards and roguelike video games, but struggle to bring your two passions together, then I highly recommend you direct your attention to Slay the Spire, developed by American studio Mega Crit. The aim of the game is to reach the top of the tower, or Slay the Spire, if you will, by collecting cards and using them to fight the various enemies that reside on each floor. Things start out fairly straightforward, but the higher you climb, the tougher the enemies get. And if you die, you die in real life! N no, sorry, if you die, it's game over and you're forced to start again from the bottom of the tower. In addition to cards, players can also collect relics, which will grant permanent boons, potions, which bestow temporary ones, and gold, which can be spent on cards, relics, and potions. Though Slay the Spire got an early access release in 2017, it didn't get a full launch until 2019. But when it finally did get its full release, it enjoyed a warm reception from critics, who were impressed with its expert blend of deck building and roguelike elements, its fun and challenging gameplay, and its accessibility. You might say that this title didn't come to play, it came to slay. Number 8. F1 2019, Xbox One, 89%. Hang on a minute, I'm sure we covered this in our last best of list. Oh no, sorry, the producer in my ear is saying that was F1 2018. I just got confused because they look so similar. I don't have a producer in my ear, that's a lie. Indeed, F1 2019 is like its predecessors in many ways. Players hop into a Formula One car and zoom around famous circuits to their heart's content. For the first time in the series' history, though, the game features driver transfers, which means that AI-controlled drivers can switch teams during a championship. And players can also take part in Formula Two races, which is presumably, when you do the maths, twice as exciting! 
F1 2019 got a decent reception from critics, who were pleased with the new additions to the game, such as the driver swaps. Indeed, many reviewers felt these changes made the game worth purchasing, even if you already owned one of the prior F1 titles. With that said though, some outlets weren't convinced that it felt like a new game. Plus, it was released with a number of bugs that affected the handling of the cars. Still, those issues clearly weren't enough to ruin anyone's fun, and pretty much every publication agreed that there was no better 2019 release for Formula One fans. Number 7. Outer Wilds, Xbox One, 89.29% we very nearly ended up in something of a sticky situation with this list, as The Outer Worlds also released in 2019 and also garnered decent review scores, so there was a very real risk of things getting mighty confusing talking about both Outer Wilds and The Outer Worlds. Luckily, the latter only, I say only, got an average review score of 85%, and as such, egg need be on no one's face. Anyway, let's talk about The Outer Worlds, shall we? Sorry, sorry, I mean Outer Wilds, for God's sake! Released in May 2019, Outer Wilds places the player character in a 22-minute time loop, and it's up to them to explore the solar system to uncover why this is happening. Players retain all of the knowledge they've uncovered thus far each time the loop resets, meaning that they're slowly able to progress further and further into the game. The narrative, puzzles, environments, exploration, and writing were all praised by critics, and Outer Wilds appeared amongst several publications' best of 29 lists. It also won multiple different awards, including a golden joystick and no less than three BAFTAs. Good work, The Outer Worlds. I mean The Outer Wilds, this is really confusing! Number 6. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Switch, 89.55% the Fire Emblem series has been around since before most of us here at Team Triple Jump were born. Well, except for office old fogey James Jenkins. Look at how wrinkly he is! But it continues to consistently give players excellent gaming experiences with every release. The 16th installment, Fire Emblem Three Houses for the Nintendo Switch, is no exception to this rule. Three Houses takes place on the continent of Fodlan, which is currently enjoying a period of peace ruled over by a trio of powers. Players assume the role of Byleth, a professor at the Garrig Mac Monastery who must guide his students through a series of battles. As is customary for the Fire Emblem series, Three Houses is a tactical RPG, and so the main focus of the gameplay is on turn-based battles and interactions with NPCs. While some critics were divided about the fact that multiple playthroughs are required in order for players to experience the entire story, on the whole, the game's reception was very positive. Both the narrative and the gameplay were well received, as was the art style, voice acting, and soundtrack. Fire Emblem Three Houses? More like Fire Emblem Three Cheers for this great game. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Oh no, wait, I didn't. That was a nice thing. Number 5. Devil May Cry 5, PC, 89.71%. Released in March 2019, Devil May Cry 5 marked the series' return to a less emo Dante, and whilst there was nothing wrong with DMC Devil May Cry, we have to admit we were mighty glad to have our blonde bombshell back. Devil May Cry 5 takes place five years after the events of Devil May Cry 4, and follows Dante, Nero, and new protagonist V, a trio of warriors with demon powers, as they try to save the human world from the demon king Urizen. All three of the aforementioned protagonists are playable throughout the game, though they are confined to their own specific missions, and players can expect the fast-paced combat and stylish action that the series has become well known for. Critics had plenty of love for Devil May Cry 5, and though most were fans of DMC Devil May Cry, they were happy to see the franchise return to its roots. Beyond this, there was a great deal of praise for the action-packed gameplay, the world-building, and the variety offered by the trio of protagonists, with V being welcomed warmly. Put simply, Devil may cry, but players certainly won't. Number 4. Disco Elysium, PC, 91%. To say that the RPG market is somewhat oversaturated these days is a bit of an understatement, and it can be difficult to know which titles are worth your time and aren't just yet another open world affair where you get to swing a sword at a few goblins. Well, take it from me, Disco Elysium is worth your time. 
Disco Elysium's story follows amnesiac alcoholic detective Harry Dubois as he attempts to solve a murder in the seaside district of a fictional city. The vast majority of the gameplay is dialogue-based, and players must carefully navigate complex social scenarios if they've any hopes of solving the case. Critics were blown away by Disco Elysium, with the majority focusing their praise on the game's narrative and conversational systems, as well as its open world, which afforded players lots of freedom, and art style, which gave the impression of playing an oil painting. Multiple publications named Disco Elysium their Game of the Year, Time listed it amongst the best games of the decade, and it won a frankly sickening number of awards, including two Developers' Choice accolades, three BAFTAs, and four TGAs. I only hope that one of the prizes it won was a bigger trophy cabinet. That'd certainly come in useful. Number 3. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, PC, 92.67%. It's time to get good now, as we take a look at From Software's 2019 action-adventure offering, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. In Sekiro, players take on the role of a shinobi warrior known as Wolf, who embarks on a quest for revenge against the samurai clan who have kidnapped his lord. Unlike previous From Software titles such as Dark Souls and Bloodborne, Sekiro is not an RPG, and so players don't have the ability to create their own character, and customization options are limited. Players can, however, upgrade their gear and make use of the skill tree to tailor the experience, which focuses heavily on combat, exploration, and stealth. Despite being a departure from the sort of titles From Software fans had become used to, Sekiro enjoyed a very positive reception from critics, and it was applauded for its combat and the gameplay options offered to players, which allowed them to approach scenarios in a number of ways. The level design was also commended, as was the addition of a grappling hook, which added an extra dimension to proceedings. Some did admonish the game for its difficulty, but, you know, it's a From Software game. I'm not really sure what else they might have been expecting. Number 2. Beat Saber, PC, 93%. If you were a massive fan of the Han Solo dance in Connect Star Wars, but wish there had been more lightsabers involved, then by golly will you get a kick out of Beat Saber, the VR sensation that swept the nation in 2019. Perhaps what makes Beat Saber so great is the fact that it's simple to learn, but devilishly tricky to master, especially on its harder modes. Each of the two controllers corresponds to a saber, and players must slash through the oncoming coloured boxes in time to the music, which is simple enough on the easiest difficulty, but will have even the most athletic of players reduced to breathless, sweaty messes once the challenge level is cranked up a bit. Although critics considered the library of available songs pretty slim, they were overall incredibly complimentary of Beat Saber, praising the game for showcasing VR technology in an enjoyable, yet sometimes exhausting way. Not only is Beat Saber one of the best games of 2019, but it's tied for the best VR game of all time, sharing the top spot with 2020's Half-Life Alyx. It's fair to say that this is going to be a tough title to… <laughs> wait for it to beat. And number 1, Resident Evil 2, Xbox One, 94.44%. You might remember that the original Resident Evil 2 made an appearance on our Best of 1998 list a little while back, securing itself the number 7 spot with an average review score of 93.13%. 21 years later, Capcom were back with a remake, and two decades more experience appears to have netted them an additional 1.31% on that review score. And who says hard work doesn't pay off, am I right? Like the OG 1998 title, the Resident Evil 2 remake sees rookie cop Leon S. Kennedy and college student Claire Redfield attempting to escape from Raccoon City amidst a T-virus outbreak. Gameplay-wise, players can again expect a third-person survival horror experience, meaning health and ammo is scarce, and difficult decisions must be made with regards to how to handle the bioorganic weapon threats. The remake received universal critical acclaim with reviewers lauding the polished audiovisual presentation, tense enemy encounters, and the fact that Capcom had been able to modernise the game while still remaining faithful to the original. So congratulations to you, Resident Evil 2, for being the best game of 2019. 
Once you've shaken off Mr. X and all those liquors, you should treat yourself to a drink or, you know, a nice bit of green herb. Purely medicinal, of course. <laughs>